Hey guys, it's Kara here. I'm back with another video. This time it's my final artist review of the Note 20 Ultra. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick on my experience using this as an artist mainly to draw I'm not gonna go crazy into specs because day-to-day -day use for average consumers it's not the main selling point of this phone it should be if you're buying like $1,200 phone but that's not the point of this video I've been drawing on this phone for the past couple of weeks and I've been I, I love it so much Samsung upgraded the S Pen to a 9 millisecond response rate on 120 hertz screen the screen is beautiful it's so fun to draw on basically that means that the this feels so much closer to drawing on paper like the s pen and the cursor are like so close together and is it a major improvement yeah it is it's actually on the level of the apple pencil it feels really really nice and if this is your first note get the note 20 ultra if you're coming from the note 10 plus even the note 9 you're not gonna feel that difference as much compared to if you're coming from the note 8 or you never had a note before so i would definitely suggest if this is your first note this is a perfect year to to jump on it because this is the year Samsung perfected the S Pen. They improved the screen. They finally listened to artists. There's a lot of there's more creative apps on here. There's Click Paint Studio finally ported over. More developers are, are interested in creating drawing apps for this phone, um, such as KelloQ that developed um, Super um, Super Brush, not Super Display. It's called Super Display now. Um, I'll click on the link in the pop up below. So basically, it's, it is a good year to get a note phone if you really want to draw. And why would you want to get a note? To draw the convenience of it yes you can draw on a tablet it's much better but i can assure you even with the curved screen you can create full artwork on here um it's just the convenience that your phone is always with you so if you have a busy busy schedule at work it is now possible since now we have the hardware and the software finally merged in together and now is it worth the high crazy expensive price tag no, it never is. It never is. A phone should not cost like as much as a brand new car, but that's the target audience that Samsung is aiming for. But knowing Samsung, that price is going to drop down by the holiday season. It always drops down a couple hundred dollars in prices to just wait a little bit and you'll be able to get this for around eight, seven hundred, like a little bit more reasonable, but still crazy high if you just want to get this to draw. If you don't want to get this to draw, this is a perfect multimedia phone. If you're trying to start your channel, if you're trying to create content, it's really great well packaged together. They also included oh dex is now wireless now i didn't get a chance to draw um to try that because they didn't really improve any drawing aspect of it um there's dex tool canvas mode which i made a video about on here it's still available on this phone but the reason i didn't really try it out because it only works with adobe sketch and i don't i'm not a big fan of adobe sketch it'd be awesome if this could work with other drawing program uh but that would be the dream that's why i didn't really use it so they have a lot of gimmicks that don't really affect us artists but samsung is on the right track with that with the note 20 and that gives me so much more hope for the future of like the phones like this i just can't wait till the fold gets an s pen and all that then it'll be over and one thing that really changed um from last year is that they uh, they, they they switched the orientation of the s pen just because there's so much stuff going on on this side um but that's only if you've been a note user if you know you're new to the note series you won't you'll you'll be easily to you'll be able to get used to that the battery life on this is not the best um there's so much going on that sensors is going on all the time so I must admit that like last year's um, Note 10 Plus um, has better battery. And speaking about last year's Note 10 Plus, I'll be having a comparison video um, up soon on the channel. And if you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I try to give you the facts and the best that I can. And day-to-day -day use, this phone is a joy to use. Uh, especially if it's your first note it's your first note yes if you want to upgrade to this one and if you're coming from a note 10 plus i it, i wouldn't recommend it um i truly wouldn't but otherwise if you want some of the best drawing experience mobile on android this is the phone to go samsung has really pulled it out through this year and i'll see you guys in my next video bye